Hi guys, Jay here, and today we're playing some Star Trek Online again. Age of Discovery. I'm back with Kasumi Morrison at uh what at Starfleet Academy. Yes, I was saying Starfleet Academy's up there. Oh, another player, and their title Grey, which I have gotten on my character as well, which is here as well. I have also also upgraded the ship. The do stuff that we bought. Oh, why is it always doing that? In game, he does. With all that stuff. On the far point, so I got the new shields and also I can uh what was it? What was the other thing? I can't remember what the other thing was. Oh, shields for the character as well. With Kazumi, got I have to, got to get the new shields. Well, body armor for both Ian and Tamva or Tamvir, or as call them as. So people might get annoyed by that. So today we can play the mission. Oh, wrong. Every time I go to the wrong place now. The mission downfall. Which says defend Starbase One from killing on attacks. Contact is Admiral Kinsington. Hopefully this is not the one that bugs that for a lot. Oh no, it's not, because they've gotten rid of that bottom one underneath. So this is not bugged up. Okay, let me just take my Tardigrade grade back. Even though what Iron Admiral Kinsington said it's classified, I know where it is. Okay, so just hell hell and see what happens. That sounds a bit odd. Starbase One has been attacked by the Klingons. Though they have repelled the first wave of attack, it is highly likely that more Klingon forces will resume the assault soon. We need you to assist Starbase One and defend it from Klingon attack immediately. Okay, so we've got, got, to, got to go to Starbase One and assist with its defense. And she's at a space dock from the 25th century where we're at Admiral King's. Uh, Ad, Admiral Quinn is. Okay, that's a bit odd. Okay, we get expertise, post expertise, new shields, new deflector, and dilithium ore. Okay, let's accept the mission. I have a mission for you. Yes, I know. I'm doing the mission for you. So, let's beam up to my ship. The USS Pathfinder. No, Pathfinder. No, that's the wrong character. The USS Farpoint. Okay, so we are very close to it. And we might actually be walking. No, we don't want to go to there. Oh, Starbase 1, okay. Not that far then. See, the ship moves much more better there. Okay. Nope. It won't tell me about Starbase 1. Okay. Okay. So, the mission is downfall. We'll see you there. you could make it. There's a little time and plenty to do. I trust you see the enemy vessels near your position. I trust you see the enemy vessels. Uh, no I don't. Yes we have them sensors. Well, I don't see them. Yes we have them sensors. Okay. Deal with them. I need you conducting rescue operations as soon as possible and the Klingons won't let you do that without a fight. Understood Admiral. Okay even though I don't see. Oh now I see them. Okay, let's get ready. Oh, that was close. That was quick on me. Oh, they got very low hull. That's fine. Oh, Churchill. Where's it? Oh, why is that ship? I've seen on Twitter, but I don't know what top right, ship it is. That area secure for now. Let's make the most of the time we have. I need you to beam out any survivors on board the damaged Starfleet ships in your vicinity. Make it fast. The Klingons will send more ships and soon. Agreed. One more thing. The Klingons aren't above ambush tactics, using their blasted cloaking device to get the jump on you. Some of them might be lurking around, waiting for the chance to strike. Acknowledge. Far point out. Yeah, it's always Klingons a lot there. Okay. I'm gonna go, go to the Churchill first. Right, key away, Churchill crew. The Churchill has been evacuated. Thanks. Okay. Go to the Cardiff. Oh, that's quite cool. The Cardiff. Where is the Cardiff? It's also the same class of ship. Cardiff evac complete. All cool. hands are safely away. Now we have to go to the Massey 
Stoner? May Stoner? Okay. Macedonia reported. Macedonia. Is complete. We owe you one. Okay, another part of my, I don't know, part of my crew, I'm not sure. And the Vancouver. Come on, nope, we can't. Track the boom then. I knew they'd be somewhere, but I thought we'd at least have something a bit quiet for that moment. It's just awesome the weapons are. I don't know the ship levels up, but I heard some people saying you have to get a new ship every level, which is a little bit odd if it is, but I'd hardly doubt it. Okay, he's evacuated the Vancouver's crew. Vancouver here. We are all clear. Many thanks. That's good now. Okay. Nice work. Glad those Klingon cowards didn't get the better of you. Thank you, Admiral. I hate to ask this, but I have standing orders from Starfleet Command. I need you to scuttle those ships. Admiral? The Klingons have been scavenging everything they can to get their hands from wrecked Starfleet vessels. In the event we fail in our mission here, Command doesn't want the Klingons getting away with any critical resources. You have your orders. Okay, I understood, Admiral. Okay, we've got to destroy the ships now. Okay, which is closer? It's the Macid Macedonia. Oh, I can't pronounce it. Okay, go down. Now it takes some time. Now I believe there's going to be more enemies coming up soon. I can believe that's what the killing ones would do. So this is still be all before the second episode, sometime before uh, Mokobona meets the Discovery. Okay. Red alert, as usual. Let dome. Hope I can customize this ship a bit more. I want to try a TOS skin. But I need um the tutorial ship could do that. I was wondering if we have that once the ship gets upgraded, which would be cool. Okay. Hard thing to watch, but it had to be done. Agreed. What's next, Admiral? We need some critical supplies here. My chief engineer is sending you a list as we speak. Beam those supplies over with the personnel you rescued. After that, I need you on high alert, patrolling the area. The Klingons don't give up that easily. They'll be back. I can imagine them just giving us a note and it's going to be like, we need bread, we need some milk, we need some sugar, and all that stuff. Just a normal shopping list. <laughs> it's all one mistake, it's like one one. Understood, okay. I thought to say what I was going to say. Okay, beam the surprise and survives. Okay, they're going to. Anything I've done about the ship design is that the nice should be a bit more forward. So at least if we had to do like a uh, landing on a planet, the nacelles a bit more leveled in front. Surely you didn't think we'd let you seize all the glory here. Not at all, Captain. Good to see you. And you. My chief engineer isn't too happy right now, but we made it in one piece. We came as soon as we could. Wish it were under better circumstances. Ticonderoga's ready for battle. We've got your back. Okay, that was cool. And also, to see the, um, the actor who played... Oh, what's his name? The Andorian one is back to play his grandson. I'm seriously forgetting names now. I mean, we had other ships here. The Andor, the Roosevelt, the um, Decton and Lefelet. The Lefelet sounds familiar. Why does that sound so familiar? You're doing good work out oh. there. The personnel and supplies you've sent might make the difference here today. That said, I have bad news. Our long range sensors are picking up a Klingon force heading our way at high warp. They'll be here soon. Get ready for a fight. Yes, Admiral. Remember the lessons we learned in battle, especially at Corvan 2. They'll be preoccupied with conquering the base. We can use that distraction to our advantage. Okay, so his name is Shran. Why am I on the wrong bridge interior? 
and their view screen, which is annoying. Okay, agreed. We know how they fight. Don't expect mercy. It won't be coming from Klingons. Hit them fast and hit them hard. And captains, it's been an honor. And to you, well, and to you, Captain. I'm just a really annoying captain, just interrupting people by mistake. Wing on attack ships on sensors. Fire at will. Oh, this is cool. Come on. Come on. Are these ships not like, prepared enough to attack? So they're all just sitting here. Power weapons. And also, once I get a new character, a bridge officer, planning. Okay. Here, oh, that's not good. I'm planning to bring the cadet crew. Like I know, I found an online tutorial for bringing in um, Ares. I think the name was the Helms woman as well. I might take her back afterwards, and we try bring everyone else back. It's got Ian, but it was another one. Gary, I think his name was. I'm gonna try bring him back as well. I just need to re-watch my tutorial. Try recreating. Now, even though I think Ian looks. Oh crap! Even though it looks like looks quite similar to um to Ian, only hair difference. I think maybe. You go quick, get there quick as possible. Oh, I'm not ready. Can't get near them yet. So I'm hoping I can recreate that one. Cause it'd be quite cool to have everyone need everyone there. Even that cool looking engineer, the tactical officer, that one looked cool to have. I would to have her as a bridge officer for Grant and I think. So I think Evelyn Savaz should be a first officer, and I think. That's why. Captains, we're reading more Klingon ships on our sensors. A lot more. This is it. They're making their big push. Our initial predictions are not good. I've given the order to evacuate critical personnel and the injured. We're loading as many as we can load onto the ships docked here. They're too damaged to fight, but they're all warp capable. Okay, that makes sense. Now we know why they weren't fighting. They're all damaged by fighting, but they can still warp. Okay. Understood. I need you to draw attention from those ships when they disembark. Buy them the time they need to get to warp and to safe harbor. Okay. Hopefully none of us would die. Especially Shran. And the Starbase has health, so that means we have to take care of that as well. They will have it, Admiral. I would probably use these weapons for my main ship, but just the blue and my weapons added proton. Which is a bit of a problem though. Oh crap, we're losing stuff on the ship. What am I shooting at? Come on. Come on. The decayer is underway. Keep the cling off distracted. Where's that one? Oh okay. Come on. Come on. Does that ship go? I try Sunder stuff. Oh, is that our one? I have no clue. Yeah, it's one of ours. Come on, please survive. Come on. Come on. I wish the ship had an extra like universal slot. Maybe they could unlock it in the future. It'd be quite cool to have. I like that ship though, the Sebro the Shran ship. It looks so cool. All ships. The Lafayette is underway. Keep those Klingons busy. Okay. Going back to the Lafayette. Come on. I mean, it's gone. I'm gonna walk. Who's next? The Roosevelt? The Roosevelt is on her way. 
I don't get that ship design for a Klingon ship because it doesn't it doesn't match any known aesthetics. Other ones they're like a bird. I've probably seen that from track last, but I've never seen the other ships. Come on, let's get this one then. Don't want stuck underneath. Come on. Yeah. Come on. That's the only thing I've done up with Discovery, just the time period doesn't match. I understand the changes to do. But I I prefer the change on the show to be how it was with it, you can focus on the crew, not just one character. You know the the Star Trek shorts, which I have not even watched it because I can't even find where to watch it in the UK and everything, but if I can find it, I'll probably watch it. I still like some of the ideas of Discovery being slightly bit stupid storyline wise. From what I saw. Like that first episode. It could and everyone's a Starfleet pendant, which doesn't make it's like it, the Enterprise had it for a specific reason. And they changed the law for that, which is a bit meh. But I can understand some of the changes, but I don't like the change of the Enterprise. Heads up! Looks like the Klingon flagship just dropped out of warp. It's the Lukoa. Sounds like you have some history with that ship. What can you tell us about? Wait, are you reading this? We're picking up some unusual energy spikes. Some new Klingon weapon, perhaps? I don't like this. Take the Lukora out of commission before it gets into weapons range. Continue. Okay, that's not good. I new see tip. you still draw breath, Starfleet. This pleases me. I'm going to enjoy breaking you. From the cutscenes I've seen, I like the look of that ship. I would prefer, try to get if it was in game. You need to stop maybe, the Lucara, I would try to get it as my killing one character ship. And then I like the look of the Enterprise, the new Enterprise. If it was had a TOS white colour and the pylons were a bit different and impulse engines no, no impulse engines I can understand. They make it look old. But everything else no, I don't like. Where's shooting? Oh, is that a station? No, it's the little Klingon ships. Enemy fleet on. And a Oh Just great. My brother. We'll help Starbase One. You deal with the Lucara. Oh no. Take a moment. You've had quite a day. My name is Daniels. I'm here to help. Jaula's weapon used unstable mycelial tech, stolen from the Glen. When she fired it, it caused a massive temporal disruption. Everyone in the blast radius was thrown forward in time to the early 25th century. You, your crew, and a number of House Mokai ships, including the Lucara. They're currently at large. Unchecked, they're a danger to the timeline. I'd like your help in dealing with them. Officially, you were listed as killed in action. I'll help you fully integrate into this time period. That mycelial tech is dangerous. We need to stop Jaula, and soon. I'll be in touch.
Okay, wow. Daniels is here, and that's the reason why. Okay. I didn't expect that way of us going to the future. But, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, this is like Age of, Dis uh, Age of Yesterday now. Agents of Yesterday, I have to talk to this guy. Hmm. Talk to the logistics officer. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical hollow novels, too. My Harry Mud costume took first prize last year. That being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you, you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. Okay, so Oh, is the mission over now? Congratulations, Lieutenant. Okay, and I will be doing Welcome to Space Earth Space Dock in this one as well. So you can meet the top brass, so you can okay. That was good advice. Report to the tailor and speak with them about updating your uniform. You're over hundred and fifty years out of date in that regard. And so yeah, we won't be too conspicuous. Okay. Even the update uniform? Nah, I probably won't. Keep all my character. I might update like accessories to the character. That's probably it. Oh. I know him. Twitter friends. Okay, speak to Taylor. Speak to ta the Taylor. Working on my shop, Lieutenant. It's a fine replica. Uniform you have dead mid 21st century, yes. My compliments to your replicator. Now, if you'd like to update to something from this century, look around. Thank you. Okay, you found the tailor. Take care of any uniform modifications you need here. You're almost ready to meet Admiral Quinn, but there's someone I'd like you to speak with before that. Philip Cray is a fellow temporal agent. He'll be working with you from time to time. Speak with him before your appointment with the Admiral. As you wish, I'll speak to Agent Cray. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go. Alright. Oh, that's a player. I was thinking, that's, I remember that being there. And Lieutenant Level 6 and Purchase Skills. Okay. Is she wearing modern uniform? Yes, she is. I'll probably keep my uniform, though. Ah, there you are. Daniels told me you'd be stopping by. Welcome to the 25th century. We've established your new cover identity, and the Admiral is expecting you in the office behind me. Report to him for your orders. Good luck out there. Let's hope we stop Joula before she causes irreparable damage to the timeline. Agreed, and um, thank you. Is this going to be a cutscene or just normal talk? I can't remember. Talk to Admiral Quinn. Ah, come in. I've been expecting you. I've been reviewing your service record. It's exemplary. You've accomplished a great deal in your career. Starfleet can use more officers of your caliber, to be certain. I hope you're ready to get back out there. A situation has come to my attention, and I'd like you to look into it. Continue. Okay. You have just earned your first skill points. Click I know. So, does Admiral know about my backstory? I have no clue. I remember these ships in the background. I enjoyed them. I got the Yamato Dreadnought. Probably not going to keep keep my one I'm still. Starbase one has been attacked by the Klingons, though they have repelled the first wave of attack. I'll probably do that bit later. So, I'm not so sure if that's in Discovery or not, but spoiler ahead, if possibly, I'm not sure. So that's Starbase one you meet at the end of season one? I'm not sure. So, I've got myself Mark two shields, okay, keep that, I get that. And just get to load like that. A new different oh, I got already got Mark II. No need to change it then, really. Okay. Um Yeah, so purchase skills. I'm a tactical officer, which means oh I never even got any of that before. Energy training projectile. I'll probably do energy weapon. And Shields so far was kind of good, but I want to make sure my shields are good. So maybe this capacity and ground. So 
Um, endurance. Always do that, and doesn't never goes. It always goes well. So yeah, so that seems good. So what missions we can play? Yep, lucky the press the wrong one. Episodes. So got none of that. Oh, could we still replay the missions? That's quite good. I might do that off camera to get some new gear. So task force operation angel discovery. I might do that later as a separate another video just for age of discovery and then all these new missions I might not record these might level up the character till when the next ones come in this character might be coming back for some of the revamped missions well some of these are already revamped um, I know Solonay will probably be recorded by my other character Edward Ryder he's an agent of yesterday Agents of Yesterday character TOS. He will be recording this series. Hopefully, I can do this. Um, yeah, I might record, I might not record. It depends on what people say uh, in the comments below. I'd like to see what you say. I might even put a title card up in the corner if I remember, I remember how to do it. Um, in that time period, I most likely will be uploading uh, PUBG videos. So there be some time I can read the comments and possible comments if people do comment on it and you see what we can actually no we see you next time guys I'll be off camera working on stuff and I think hope you guys enjoyed the video see you next time and surprisingly this is a short video I thought it was going to be long but it's not see you next time guys hope you guys enjoy.